Hello folks, let's take a look at what is called context in API.ai. I'll take the same basic example, which is the Yahoo weather forecast. And uh, let's say I go in and type here, weather in Sunnyvale. It of course comes back with the weather. Now, I, I want API.ai or the bot in this case to remember the context, basically remember the fact that I'm talking of weather here. My previous question was about weather or my current question is about weather. So next time if the user asks, how about Santa Clara? It's supposed to again come back with weather. Uh, so this is where context come into use. And let's go take a quick look at how to achieve that. So here I am in API.ai with the intents that I had created earlier. I'll go on the first one here, which says check weather. And to create a context, I go up here and uh, I'll create what's called an output context. And I'm going to give it the name my hyphen context. This value of five is the default lifespan. I'm just going to change it to three and I'll talk about that in a moment. And let me save it. And I'm going to go down here and create one more parameter and call it my action. I'm going to leave the entity field blank. And as far as the uh, value goes, I'm going to enter the value Yahoo weather forecast, basically hard coded to Yahoo weather forecast. Save that. I'll go create a new intent now. Let's call it type in a couple of options here or values as to what the user might say. Save it. I'm going to type up one more here. For some reason it did not recognize this. I'm just going to select that. Say save. For fulfillment, call the webhook. Give it an action name. I'm going to call it previous context. And in case the webhook does not fulfill it, give a response. There is one more step required here, but I'm not going to do it yet just to show you that this much is not enough. Now I go ask how about Sunnyvale. It said sorry, I'm not sure because it could not get the context. It doesn't know that we're talking of the weather. So we go in here and specify what is called my action. I'm going to leave the entity. Now, the value for this is supposed to be the context that you set earlier. So let me actually save this, go back once more and show this so that you remember. In check whether you set a context called my context, you want to refer that and you want to refer the value of the my action parameter in that. So what I'm going to do is go back to my question here, question using previous context. For my action, I'm going to say to reference the uh, context, you need to use the hash symbol. Call it my context or basically make a call to that and say my action. So basically the value of the parameter my action is supposed to be from my context, which I said in the previous question or previous intent. And from that, take the value of the parameter my action. And then save this. And uh, let's try now. How is the okay? Now I try. How about there you go? It worked. And let me try a few more. Actually, I say Palo Alto. Uh, it, it took three tries or something. Uh, basically, that's where this lifespan comes into picture. See, I have set it as three. One other point to keep in mind for this particular example. 
uh, just creating those two intents and context would not work. You would have to do a little bit of uh, very little work in the in the Python code. Uh, see how I'm getting my action and uh, parameters and all that stuff here. You also need to get your previous action, which is the new my action that I created. New my action parameter and you need to put an if condition an if condition that says if my action is equal to previous context then change my action to previous action uh, which is basically you know uh, the hard-coded value which you have given here right this guy here should this value hard-coded value of yahoo weather forecast gets passed on to this questions my action and that is the one which you set here as previous action well hopefully that helps in clarifying context to some extent uh, thank you very much for watching folks and hey don't forget to like if it's helped thank you